As we saw in a previous video, the pi bond in alkenes prevents rotation around the carbon-carbon double bond. Because of this, depending on where the atoms are attached in the double bond, you could have different kinds of isomers, even though the molecular formulas will be the same when we have alkenes. If each of the carbons in the carbon-carbon double bond has a hydrogen and one other group, then we could end up with cis or trans isomers. We begin by looking at the hydrogen and the other group on the first carbon. And then we compare that to the hydrogen and the other group on the second carbon in the double bond. If the two hydrogens are on the same side of the double bond, we indicate that this is a cis alkene. If the hydrogens are on different sides of the double bond, we indicate that this is a trans isomer. It's important to remember that even though cis-trans isomers are attached in the same order and have the same molecular formula, because of the geometric differences, cis and trans isomers will have different properties. If we have an alkene that has two of the same group on one of the carbons, for example, both hydrogens, then that alkene will not have cis-trans isomers. There must be two different groups on each of the sp2 hybridized carbons in order to have cis-trans isomers. What happens if we have four different groups attached to the two sp2 hybridized carbons in an alkene? In that case, we can no longer designate the isomers as cis-trans isomers. Instead, we use what's called the EZ system for determining which isomer is which. The EZ system is based on a priority of the substituents that are on the carbon, carbon double bond. For each of the substituents on one of the sp2 hybrid carbons, we determine which is higher priority and which is lower priority. We then do the same thing for the second sp2 hybrid carbon. In determining which group is higher priority and which is lower priority, we assign a higher priority to the substituent where the first atom has a higher atomic number than the first atom on the other side of that sp2 hybrid carbon. We then do the same analysis for the second sp2 hybrid carbon, where we compare the two atoms directly attached to the carbon. The first atom with a higher atomic number then the other atom becomes the higher priority. We then look at the two highest priority groups on the two sp2 hybrid carbons. If the two high priority groups are on the same side of the double bond, we indicate this with the letter Z, which is German for zusammen. This means together. If the two high priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, we indicate this with a capital letter E, which stands for the German Entgegen, which means opposite. Problem. We're asked to do two things. For each of the compounds, we're asked to identify if they have cis-trans, EZ, or neither type of geometric isomer. Once we've identified that, we're then asked to name each of the three compounds in the problem. Let's begin with the first molecule. To begin with, we should identify the longest continuous chain that contains the carbon-carbon double bond. We have one, two, three, four, five carbons in this longest chain, and we identify that the carbon-carbon double bond begins on the second carbon. So the base name for this molecule is 2-pentene. We also identify that we have a chlorine substituent on the third carbon, so that substituent would be 3-chloro. Now let's identify if this is cis-trans, EZ, or neither type of geometric isomer. When we look at the two carbons of the double bond, we notice that there's one, two, three different substituents or groups that are not hydrogens on those two carbons. 
Since we have three or more substituents on the sp2 hybrid carbons, we have to use the EZ designation. Now let's determine if this is an E or a Z configuration. We'll begin with the sp2 hybrid carbon on the left. In this case, we have a chlorine atom and a carbon atom attached to that left carbon. Since chlorine has a higher atomic number than carbon, the chlorine is higher priority. Now let's look at the sp2 hybrid carbon on the right. That carbon is bonded to a hydrogen and another carbon. Since carbon has a higher atomic number than hydrogen, the carbon hydrogen three group, the methyl group is higher priority. Now we have a chlorine as one high priority group and the methyl as the other high priority group. Since those two high priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, you would indicate that this is an E designation. Now we can put the three parts of the name together and we would come up with a final name E3-chloro-2-pentene. You should take a few minutes now and try to do the same kind of analysis for molecules B and C. Pause the video and we've, when you've come up with answers for both molecules, restart the video and find out if you're correct. 